Welcome back. So now that we have multiple describes, we can actually go in and be more specific about when we actually need specific um, helpers and stuff like that. When we need these different components, the fixture, the helper, we can be a lot more specific that we only need, for instance, the helper in specific tests right here. Now, for instance, the helper, we don't need that in the simple test. It's not used here at all, right? We don't need the helper inside the navigation test, it seems. Right now, we don't use that at all. But still, we're defining it at the top, and it's. It, I just want to show you guys how easy it is to actually say, let's only use the helper in the describes where we actually need the helper. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the describe right here, and we're going to go in here and say, this is the area where I need a helper. So let's just take the helper from up here, the global variable right here, and just put it into this describe instead. So it's not available anymore to our entire, entire setup. The second thing I'll do is I'll explain that before I run the test in this describe, before each, I want to use the helper. So I'll add the action, which is just a blank array right now. I'm not using it for anything. There we go. And then I'll go in here and I'll place my initializer for the helper. And it's very simple. It'll just be a new constructor. So new helper. And I'm pretty much done. There we go. So now I've explained that this code part right here is going to need the helper, right? And I can now do the same thing because I also need the helper for the second part down here. So let's just go. I know I also need the helper if I go down here in the delete area. This guy, he also needs the helper. So let's just place him in there as well. Now the point is just, if you wanna again, make your code even simpler to read and you wanna be very specific about what you need in the specific describes, you can just add it like this. You don't have to add everything globally. So if it starts getting a mess, you have too many variables in the top, too many properties up here in the describe, it gets impossible to read. You can actually start moving things in the areas where you specifically need it. So for instance, now this is, this is gone right here. I just moved everything in here. So the helper is kind of only in the area where I need him now. And let's do the same for navigation because I know that later on I'm going to use the location and the router. So let's try and add those in this describe right here because I want to use location later on. Location, there we go. And I'll get the location by actually calling testbed get location like this. Boom, so again, it's only needed in this test. It's not needed outside of this test. So that's why I'm putting it in here. And let's do the same for the router. So I'll just make another one here. There we go. And I'll just add the router down here. And the same idea, I'll use the test bed to get the router. So now we have a router as well. And I'll just get rid of this router down here. Boom. So again, look at how simple it is now we know that it's not until we get to this area that we need these guys. So that's why that's not until this area, I called it before each, and now it will be created before every test still, just like it did before. So that's it for this lesson. I just want to show you guys that before each can be moved all the way into describe, and you can actually even move the test if you wanted to, you can move the test out here like this, or sorry, the before each out here like this, and it would actually be used in any area after this line right here. Okay, so it's synchronously being read, so it's okay to put it here as well. Then it will mean that every time after this guy, the tests after that one would actually be, have these guys available, right? So it's, again, it's up to you when you want, where you want to place them, but at least I would put them in the describe because it just makes a lot of sense to have them in here. It just makes it a lot easier to kind of get over you about what describe uses what properties in my mind. And then you have all the global properties still up here so that everybody can use them whenever they want to. So that's it for this lesson. That was a simple way to kind of see how you can use the before each to figure out what you actually want to show. Have fun. See you next time.